my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Libra for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Libra placement in your chart, you can apply this too. Before you get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below for your protection. That's the only place, the only way you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and also check out my free radio show. It is in the description. I pull cards for every zodiac sign. We listen to music. It is super fun over there. Other than that, you guys, we're just going to see what's going on for you guys. Also, if you add me on there, you're automatically uh, added into any giveaway I do. So that's also cool. Cool feature I just added. But other than that, Libra, let's see what's going on with you guys this week. <clears throat> A lot of opportunity energy this week, like so many opportunities coming up for everyone. I've been getting from spread to spread to spread. Same thing with you guys. All right, so let's get right into it. First, we have the frog. Impulse, adaptivity, and voice. You're being guided to jump over any obstacles and embrace the change in your life. Truth has an expiration date and the time is now to speak your new truths. Show the world your voice, acknowledge your desires, and leap with faith towards what matters to you. So yeah, you guys, tapping into that energy, it's definitely about hopping on the opportunities as they come. Things seem to be very lighthearted and exciting so far for Libra. We have the butterfly. Mind, body, and soul transformation. You may be seeing a lot of 333. Uh, you're being guided to embrace the change and detach from what no longer serves you. Begin now to recognize your own beauty and elegance, and the world will do the same. So do what you need to do now. The world will catch up later, Libra. This is an energy of allowing the world to do that catch up, not feeling like you have to influence people and, and cause them to see what you have going on, but just to continue to go, move forward, and not worry too much about, you know, who may be left behind or who needs this and that. Just keep going. We have the whale, agility, imagination, and intuition. You're being guided to focus on emotional stability and listen to your inner guidance. The time has come for you to jump into action and go after what you desire. Be playful and splash in the waters of creating new waves of abundance for yourself and others to enjoy. So yeah, you guys, tapping into this intuition, big whale. Big whale energy. Ooh. All right, let's see how this develops. We got the heron. With detachment, faith, and harmony, you're being guided to follow your inner wisdom, find clarity, and focus on purpose, passion, and joy. Begin now to reinvent yourself and your life. You are a powerful co-creator with limitless inner and infinite, or sorry, limitless inner wisdom and infinite potential. And then we have the bison. Abundant success and personal power. You're being guided to be flexible, go with the flow, and allow things to happen rather, happen rather than force them. Universal opportunities are stacked around you. Send to yourself and resonate with your core values, and you will reap many rewards. This is the first reading that I've done today that I didn't have a lot of downloads coming through. And I've been getting so, so many downloads coming through. And I feel like that is a good thing for you, Libra, because that means there's not a bunch of things that you need to know. You genuinely know what you're supposed to do right now. You may even be guided not to listen to as many tarot readings lately, or you may be guided to do like just less, like tapping into this energy, like just doing less. You don't feel like you have to do a whole lot nowadays because the energy for you is so smooth and easy it's like for once you genuinely know that you are where you're supposed to be and if you're not feeling that way libra you already know what you're wanting to come through as well i heard um and if you're not feeling that way libra just know that you will soon okay not everyone is in exactly the same spot especially with the page of swords in reverse and the five of cups it took a lot of surrender and a lot of pain and heartache and learning through experience okay 
So if you're still in the healing phase or if something just happened, something just hit the fan or you're just in the phase trying to decide, okay, what do I want moving forward? Just know you're still on this path to getting here where it's you already know what you're waiting for and you're just waiting for that to come through and living life in the meantime. Like you guys got the most chill spread so far and it's so refreshing because child, the energy has been very ghetto. The energy this week has been very ghetto and heavy and I'm glad to see that someone is just like we have the moon card it came out kind of sideways it was leaning more upwards um, this lets me know that it's a matter of perspective how you're feeling and viewing your situation at this time um, everything hasn't been revealed and because of that instead of just saying okay well this is what the energy is if you allow yourself to go into analysis paralysis that's just you know, self-induced worry, to be honest. There's nothing for you guys to actually worry about at this point, Libra. So, you know, just be aware that that energy is kind of prevalent right now. You could end up, ooh, what's this about? Uh, you could easily end up, you know, driving yourself into analysis paralysis and convincing yourself that something is wrong just because you kind of teeter back and forth with the understanding of, okay, Everything happens, you know, in, in sequence. This is what it is. It's it's okay. We're doing good. If you kind of convince yourself that something is wrong, then you're going to kind of backtrack. We got the Hierophant in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. I'm going to specifically ask for some cards about that. Because what is that about? Maybe a little power hungry. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this energy? Okay, hold on. I'm being called to grab my Santa Morte deck to clarify. You can get on Amazon if you're interested. This is one of my most powerful decks. When I first got this deck, it wouldn't even speak to me. Like, it would not. It was like, I had been reading tarot for so long and I would look at the cards and it would be like the magician card and I would be like, I don't know what this means. When it's so obvious, like every, everyone knows at least the major arcana, this deck refused to allow me to read it. It was so strange. Very, very powerful deck. I just love this deck so much. I should have used this deck this week. But uh, let's get some clarification here. There is definitely some romantic partner jealousy this week. Either someone is jealous of you or someone is trying to convince you to accept less than what you deserve. We got the Six of Swords in reverse and the Justice card here. So someone trying to convince you fundamentally that what they want for you is better than what you want for yourself, what you expect for yourself. Someone has a romantic partner that's trying to keep them in a box, trying to keep them you know, like from from growing and glowing up because they know their potential, but they want to be able to use your energy for whatever it is they see fit. And it's so weird because in the beginning of your spread, I was getting like this really optimistic energy. But, you know, when you're bright eyed and bushy tailed, like you can get in a lot, a lot of trouble because you're just kind of naive. Like if you've seen the Jersey Shore, how Snooki came in first day, party's here. And um, she ended up making an absolute embarrassment of herself, but then ended up being like the most powerful and memorable character. Not really, I love them all. But it's just like an example, like you go into the workplace, you know, people are gossiping, so you start to gossip with them, you start to share, share the tea with them. Whole time you didn't even know, snake. <laughs> Make, like you did not know that they were not having your best intentions that hard that they were the problem in the whole time it's just kind of like someone can see that you're in a really good energy Libra and they're trying to convince you to either they're trying to convince you that you're not as valuable as you are or they're trying to convince you to channel your energy towards them to stay with them to go along with them and they're just kind of like, everything's happening very, very quickly. And it's like a lapse of judgment 
you're not you feel so good that you're like nothing can bring me down to the point where it's like something is bringing you down very quickly and it's like literally the rug is being pulled from underneath you and you're just falling it's very 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 quick and that's why it's important right now for you to tap into the magician energy because you have to program the energy for what it's going to be you have a blank slate and things feel really good and positive for once you're just having a good week damn i really thought i was not going to get this energy why is this energy so prevalent this week with every single freaking sign it's just very important that we focus on ourselves this week i really thought i was like oh libra's got it figured out and you do but you're still being attacked by this like low vibrational energy going around i was talking about it in gemini's reading if you have any gemini placements definitely watch that one this week so you know what i'm talking about but there's kind of just this dark energy that's very distracting this week and um so the universe is telling you libra there's very there's a lot of good things happening for you don't allow someone to steal like your your happiness your your shine we got the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Four of Swords. So it's like definitely an energy of someone trying to keep you bound, someone trying to keep you where you are, stuck in time, stuck under their belt. We got the Two of Coins and the Sun in reverse. They don't have your best interest at heart. They definitely have their best interest at heart. Queen of Coins, Seven of Coins, you've built something very strong here. You've been so strong. You've been so dedicated and determined to get more for yourself. Don't allow yourself to... Whew, bottom of the deck we got the tower i didn't even see that don't allow yourself whoo the bottom of the deck is uh represents underlying energy of the situation in tarot and um the universe is saying it's very very easy for you to get finessed out of your abundance this week we got the lovers card here and justice that also came up um we talked about justice in the six of swords in reverse but we have the lovers card here the star in reverse though okay so this is someone that you're very compatible with. But with the star in reverse, they haven't done the work that they needed to do to be in alignment, to be able to offer you a worthwhile love connection. So because of that, it's like you can feel the compatibility, but they haven't done the work, though. We got the two of wands in reverse, so I, I really don't advise that you surrender to this energy. If you get any love offers this week, I would just allow them to chill. If it's really for you, trust. It will not miss you. It will come back around. It will present itself in a different way. Um, but, um, yeah, we have indecent proposal. Someone you're feeling very attracted to, doing too much, asking for too much. Mm trying to keep you stuck trying to keep you in a certain place where they like you and it's not even necessarily that they're trying to be malicious and manipulate you even though for a lot of you I, I do feel like that is the case um well I mean yeah because if that's not what you want for your own life like regardless you gotta let people grow best case scenario we can grow in the same direction and grow together but um yeah, it's just like an energy of someone trying to keep you where they want you, like where you benefit them the most. Um, oh, no. -uh. Hold on. We had the plenty of fish in the sea card try to come out. Some of you guys may be engaging in like an actual r love connection with this person, like a romantic connection. We got plenty of fish in the sea and let love in. This may be someone you've committed to to a certain degree, Libra. <laughs> and it's just funny. Um because as you try to like you're like man i may have to pursue other options and then they're like just let me in <sighs> very confusing week we got ahead i'm not just we have shocked and synchronicity a very confusing week because <coughs> You're like, universe, like, why aren't things working out? And I feel like it's bigger than this. Honestly, I feel like something big may happen on a world scale this week. Like, something may happen that shakes the world. <laughs> something, there's been a lot of things, honestly, that have been happening, that have been suppressed by the news. Like, the things that we actually should be seeing don't actually get shown. So there's a lot of things that have been happening, but, oof, 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 oof. 
energy the overwhelming if you read tarot or if you're an intuitive you know what i'm talking about like the energy has been very overwhelming anyways we have the two of air the five of water and the knight of fire there's those the two of air being unable or unwilling to make a decision uh, a stalemate pretending that there is no problem honestly that's best case scenario <laughs> i would pretend that there is well no i wouldn't pretend that there is no problem but i would pretend that this person doesn't exist this situation doesn't exist and i would like kind of I'm about to be in the house this week because the way these spreads are coming through, I'm like, what is going on? Even energetically, like, there's a lot going on. Night of fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. And the five of water, things not turning out the way that you hope, not seeing the positive in the situation, crying over spilled milk. So if someone, you know, kind of convinces you that they have more value than they do, there's going to be an energetic attachment there. At the bottom of the Santa Morte deck, we did have the Wheel of Fortune, by the way, <clears throat> for anyone wondering. Um, let's see. Don't want to pull from this one. Let's pull from this one. <clears throat> We have to be fair. I, I, I honestly, I feel an energy of spiritual warfare going on this week. And it just reminds me of, um, I don't even want to get into it. It's way too, it's like, I can't even get into it. It's too big of a conversation. Okay, so we have serendipity to be fair in TikTok. <coughs> so yeah, Libra, I know this is a very confusing reading and it's because the energy is so layered and it's it's deeper than just a tarot reading. It's very much so spiritual, but things are being leveled out. Karma is being dealt out this week as well. There's a lot going on and you can be a casualty of war is essentially the energy wrapped up in a pretty little bow. So it's important for you to pro protect your energy, to focus on yourself because there's something coming in that's kind of dark trying to convince you that it's the opportunity you need or you've been waiting for, but it, and it may be, but it's just like, you know, unfortunately, this is this is the real tea Libra because it's kind of disturbing <clears throat> to see the lover's card come in and the star in reverse. It's disturbing to see that someone you're perfectly compatible with, someone who should be, or someone who is a twin flame, a soulmate, someone who's a divine counterpart, not be a good thing for you. It's disturbing to see that. And unfortunately, that's the reality. People who do not do the work you will not be in alignment with, they're going to ruin your life. Regardless of how good you are, if that person hasn't done the work and you finally get to the point where you meet them, they are not... They cannot be accepted and it's just so unfortunate because before the energy was so convoluted by whatever powers that be, if you know what I'm saying, like before people realized that they can manipulate energy and manipulate people's energy and manipulate people with energy, before people realized that, yeah, absolutely, true love was still a thing. But this is, this is kind of just disheartening. These are just my personal thoughts. It's just kind of disheartening. And um, I did get this message, this download the other week, and it was like, love is here. Love has already always been here. And it was a very Saturnian daddy energy I was getting with that message. And it was basically like, you know, the universe kind of letting me know through a download, like, you know, love is very much still here, but there's these glimpses in time where these you know lower vibrational energies kind of come through and it's spiritual warfare but serendipity lets me know libra uh things are still very magical and and open for you but there's definitely like a dark undertone to this reading i wish that this was a general reading so we can get into the collective but it's really affecting you guys for whatever reason. I want to look at the moon calendar really quick to see like maybe if there's um, a full or a new moon in, in Libra or something coming up. Um, 
um, the next full moon, let's see, um, 23rd, it's in Capricorn. What about the new moon? It's in Leo. So maybe it's a planetary placement. The moon obviously isn't the only thing that has an effect on the collective. Anyways, Libra, that's what I have for you guys this week, okay? Things are going to be leveled out. Just kind of isolate yourself a little bit this week. With this energy going on, there's just way too much to even get into in a freaking tarot reading. Um, that's what I have for you. Check me out on Etsy in the description if you'd like a private read. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Thank you.